What's up guys, it's Eric Johnson from Air Today Throws Nation and we are down to crunch time of the season. So what does that mean? It means for the most part, time has passed. You have done the work. Now it's about simplifying so that you hit those big performances when it matters most. And this is coming down to district, regional, you know, state championship meets, and then for many of you going on to those national meets. So what are we gonna do today? We are gonna talk about, again, fix the one thing that fixes four to five things. So one of the things we're gonna talk about, we talked in our last tip about a simple tip on how we're going to fix our discus, changing our rhythm. Now we're gonna talk about how do we correct the windup. For a lot of our rotational shot putters, they're starting to feel really good in the discus and then they come into the shot and it starts to maybe affect their shot or their shot rhythm's really good and they're carrying that over and they're starting to throw the discus like the shot. Now here's two simple tips to help you make sure that it's more simple. Number one, when you set up in the rotational shot, one, you're gonna be a little bit more forward. Discus, you're more a little bit more upright. Shot put, you're more forward and down a bit. So what we're gonna do is typically have a shorter wind up in the shot put. Why? Because a lot of you guys are trying to wind up and you're trying to wind up like the discus. So the logic would be, well, if I have a longer path, I can throw further and that's good logic. But where the key of a wind up, remember, is we're trying to get on balance and one of our core objectives is to get balanced and set up separation. So when we wind, we wind up creating hip shift and chest shift. And so when we do this, we're not creating that separation that we need. So if you look at the best throwers in the world, most of them are gonna stop. That elbow is gonna be facing about six o'clock. We're not seeing guys wind around like this. You're not seeing this type of a wind. Are there examples? Sure. For the vast majority of you though, that are running into a conflict, you wanna be really clear about your rotational shot wind versus your discus. So in the rotational shot, more forward, level, and here. We're gonna be this. You see this kind of more controlled wind. One of my favorite throwers in her start is Jessica Childer of the Netherlands. She's just, boom, she sets it up. You see Krauser kinda of comes over here. Again, you see the same thing. Even Joe Kovacs, when you see him go, again, you're noticing that commonality of the elbow point. So, your easy tip, a lot of you guys are setting up and creating too much motion. Control your motion and come around so that you're gonna create that more rotational movement that you need in the rotational shot. Smaller circle, more rotational. In the discus, remember you're gonna take that long path. In our last tip, we talked about how we would set that up and now we're having that longer path for this, for the discus, shorter path for the shot put. That's how you're going to be able to quickly distinguish between the two, set yourself on track, get yourself practice ready and that's that one thing that wind up is going to set balance and separation and that's going to fix multiple things once you're on balance when you're off balance you're always trying to find and catch your balance when you're on balance you can move through the throw more effectively you're going to be more consistent you're going to feel more comfortable and you're going to hit those big prs like we've been doing with our current athletes and athletes all over the country for the last several weeks so get yourself dialed up keep it simple set those two wind ups we'll see you on the next video Hey guys, it's Eric Johnson. Just wanted to say, be sure to check out, if you're looking for coaching, we have online, in person, we have our throws camps, we have video analysis. Check out all of our service, links are below. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next video. Take it easy.